by looking solely at Western media, you might be forgiven for thinking that the Holy Land is nothing but conflict and hardship. But a new trend is gaining speed, showing that many are seeing through the smokescreen and are in fact attempting to move here as fast as possible. Hannah Rifkin with the story. Boca, the Hamptons, Manhattan, Tel Aviv? According to Aliyah organization Nefesh Benefesh, requests for Aliyah or immigration to Tel Aviv, or at least to purchase real estate in the city, increasing by a whopping 126% in 2020 alone. And this despite both the coronavirus pandemic and the popular central city being very well known for its excessive pricing. Especially unique, though, is that interest among Americans has been skyrocketing, with the number of applicants per month rising from 2 to 20. Whereas until now, UK and French immigrants have been known to lead the real estate market in the Tel Aviv area. So why the sudden boom? Particularly as Tel Aviv ranking second in the world after Paris for the average cost of living. In fact, just to give you an idea of the cost, a recent survey reveals that the average price of a four-room apartment in Tel Aviv inflated 36% between 2011 and 2021. Well, the Wall Street Journal is signifying Tel Aviv's high-tech scene as the city's main factor of attraction, but real estate experts also attributing the city's successful draw to its friendly urban environment, which is attracting younger immigrant demographics. Additionally, families and retirees alike are also drawn to the pleasant tropical weather and proximity to the coast. Whatever the case, Tel Aviv is on the rise in the world of foreign property ownership. Now often spoke of in the same breath as famous metropolitan cities such as Manhattan and London. And this upwards trend appearing to only continue for the foreseeable future. All right, now Americans just can't seem to get enough of Tel Aviv. In fact, despite the pandemic and rising costs amidst an already extremely expensive landscape, property purchases in the so-called white city rose 126% in 2020 alone. Here to explain the phenomenon is Vered Koplir, Regional Sales Manager of Nefusi Group, a real estate company in central Israel. Vered, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. All right, so my first question is, what type of real estate properties does Nefusi Group specialize in and where? Actually, our group specializes in a very uh, smart process, okay, because we supply uh, a lot of options to our client and also for constructors in a high demand area and also other uh, good areas that you can find in Israel. Actually, uh, we consider to be good advisors because we analyze our process on a daily basis. Mm. I mean, every transaction that our company does for a constructor or for a very big or very small project, we actually learn from it. Uh, therefore, we can predict the market trends that you can uh, proceed and, and to advise our client what's the best option for their money. So we're a market, we, we actually uh, specialize in residential uh, real estate. Uh, especially, but we are like an open house, okay, for clients, for constructors, whoever is welcome. So, so what is so attractive about Tel Aviv, especially to Americans? Tel Aviv, you know, it has a very, very uh, a high prestige, uh, uh, like a glow, okay? You can find in Tel Aviv like a small universe. It's very cosmopolitan. It suggests a lot of uh, uh, restaurants and areas and the beach. And you can find yourself, whatever type you are, okay, in Tel Aviv, you have everything to do. Now, in Tel Aviv, we learn through the years that it's the city of the streets. I call it every street has its own demand, okay, his own project. Own and personality. Own personality. Absolutely its own personality and I've actually we have to match the client with mm. the street in Tel Aviv. Wow. So is that in part why the prices are rising so quickly in Tel Aviv? Yeah, yeah, because actually it's not a city of neighborhoods, okay, even not areas, okay. Uh, uh, you can take for an example a very big street, you can divide it like for five or six parts, okay. And then when you have very uh, uh, low uh, uh, suggestion for the client, the uh, prices are raising up highly, like extremely. So keeping that in mind, then should Americans maybe keep an open mind to other cities? I tell you what, we make money 
for our clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if uh, we have to uh, consider all the terms and specification of the special client that in front of us. And if a client uh, uh, looking for a deal of price, okay, we can suggest a lot of option for him that includes Tel Aviv and other uh, high demand areas like Ranana or Ramat Gan or Natania, okay? So if it's an investor, we go with the price, with the money, how much money you can make on the money. And he, if he has the dream of Tel Aviv, we will supply the dream, you know. All right, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure people who have been to Tel Aviv completely understand that dream. That's right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.